Mm -hmm. Well, it's interesting that you brought up genetics because that actually brings me into another question before we get back to the Gari. Uh, this whole chromosome two fusion event that happened to turn, um, you know, hominids into humans or the homo genus, do you believe that this occurred in a single generation? And what effect did it have? Um, so do you believe that this was a multi-generational event? Or do you think that it had a single generation well, that got that uh, going, uh, mutation that yeah. passed along to the rest, you know? Yeah, so it's going to show up in a single generation. A chromosomal fusion isn't necessarily, like, ridiculously rare. Um, we've seen it in equids, and we've seen it in, in pigs as well, in suids. So it's not ridiculously rare. And th those two are even the telomere-telomere head-to-head fusions that we see in, in hominins as well. Um, but that being said, like, the, the actual phenotypic consequences of a chromosomal fusion are not necessarily large, right? We have humans born today with like Robertsonian translocations and they live perfectly normal lives and can even reproduce. They don't, you wouldn't tell by looking at them that they have anything strange going on with them. So chromosomal fusion doesn't necessarily mean we're rocking the world of, of an organism genetically, um, I mean, you are genetically, excuse me, but uh, phenotypically. Sometimes it just means you've got a little, a little quirk in the genome. That being said, something about the chromosomal fusion, um, either the, the situation that it emerged in allowed for enough drift that it moved to fixation rather quickly and then proliferated through populations as that population grew, or otherwise there was something beneficial about it that allowed it to proliferate. One of those two is, those are our two sort of options there. Um, I think it's very unlikely that this occurred separately in more than one population. It also wouldn't make a ton so, of sense to have, like, not only is that such a rare event, but also, like, it's not exactly a step-by-step -step process. It kind of either happens or it doesn't. And so, like, it's, right. you know, it's, it, it's a, an, an issue of meiosis, not an issue of, of natural selection thing, right? in that particular way. Yeah. Right. Yeah. If, if it's, a single, it's a single generation. Like, all, all, the, uh, all the chromosome fusions are a single generation event, right? Pretty much as far as I experience. can tell, yeah, I can't think of a, I can't think of an example where chromosomal fusions took more than one generation um, because it, it's going to be an, an instant. It's going to be like a single reproductive event that results, you know, via via um, a recombination or otherwise in in, in a fusion, a telomere telomere fusion. Yeah. Now I used to believe that this event happened or was supposed to have happened between the Australopithecus and then the Homo uh, group. No. But now I hear that it had happened that. that what it's believed, yeah, way older, like like between the uh, the the chimp, the pans and the uh, the very first uh, 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 australopiths, yeah, right. No, wouldn't so, surprise so you. Me. Have like these off? Is, yeah. is that right? Right, right. Or yeah, as far back as like if it if I, I, it's been a little while since it's I like had to know this, but if like I remember seven, right, ten million years, right. Yeah. Uh, closer to like yeah, so, five to five to ten in there, because like I think Sahelanthropus, if I remember right, was like our most likely sort of common ancestor with chimps in that area. Um, and so like, yeah. you look like you're about to just tell me I'm stupid. <laughs> but like, no, 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 it, it, no, no. There's there's controversy on Sahelanthropus right now, and I'm really worked up about it because there was a lot of conversation going on at the ABAs about Sahelanthropus, and so I was just getting ready to go into another tie ride, and then I was like, you know what? This is completely not relevant at all to the conversation. Right. Shut up. <laughs> Let me tell you why that's bullshit. Yeah, I man, have so like, hey, can I can I can I cut in here right. a bit? So I love yeah. everybody, and I love the two hosts, and I love and caller. Thank you for so much for calling. But there's got to be some kind of clarification that needs to go on. This is not a show where it's like, here are the two people you can call and just chum it up with. Like, this is a show about skepticism. Oh, no hang no on, doubt. Richard. Hang on. So if you, have a, yeah. if you have a question that is specific, like, hey, there's a common misconception of this, or there's this skeptical challenge that's out there or whatever, a, a hyper-specific thing that roughly what? Three dozen people who are watching out of a thousand might be able to follow the whole thing of what's your opinion on this like super obscure <laughs> right, biological fact. More simple, or, let's or, just uh, more jump general, totally more... past that yeah. and let's get to something that's related right, to skepticism. Right, got, and maybe Richard, right. don't talk over right. me. I hate that more than anything. Maybe we talk about something oh, related sorry, to skepticism, God. and maybe we talk about uh, that you've called in as a theist, and, and, and we mm -hmm. go in that direction or something. Otherwise. Let's let's move along and and keep our more broad appeal topical show going. Oh, Jimmy, you don't want to talk about the intricacies okay, of Sam like this genesis. I thought you loved that. I I I might actually enjoy that specific conversation, but I wouldn't. <laughs> 
put it on air that in a show that is broadly broadcasted out to to be a show about skepticism and trying to correct people's misconceptions about things. Uh, uh, yeah, fair I enough. Just, fair enough. Well, for one thing, as far as the Gari goes, I think that's nothing more than a, an ape skull. And I think that you can tell by the teeth that it's an ape skull. I don't think it was really? on the What, about, what, what yeah. about the, I mean, what I know, yeah, you're right. Of course, it's an ape skull. Like, you're, you're right. Because it, it is an ape skull. Obviously. But, yeah, uh, you know, I got like three fingers in it. What I'm asking, though, when you say it's an ape skull, Richard, you're meaning a non hominin ape, are you not? Well, I mean, that's that not the definition of hominid, you know? I mean, like, do you say hominid or hominini? Or? There's only one. What is it? There's only one. Yeah, uh, a hominid is any, is any extinct ape that is more closely related to humans than it is to our closest living relatives, which would be chimpanzees and bonobos. Do you, um, I know that you guys know the definition of hominid. I'm it's asking yeah, you, right? do yeah. you, yeah. Are you, you hom <laughs> hominin or hominid? I N okay. I N. Are, are, are let me just ask things. you a question, Richard. Are, are you in. saying that okay, dwarf meat is not? I'm sorry, I was interrupting you that time. That was my bad. <laughs> now I'm running all over. I'm getting, I'm getting heated. You sorry. Too. No, go ahead, Erica. Go ahead. It's cool. I'm going to say. I was going what to say. Are you? Is your thesis statement here? Because this is what I think you're trying to say. I think what you're trying to say is that there isn't an Australopithecus specimen fossil that clearly represents an intermediate between modern day humans, some kind of intermediate between modern day humans and ancient Miocene apes, you don't think that it's bipedal and you don't think that it can occupy uh, the, the sort of definition that we tend to think of as a transitional species. Is that correct? Well, it's a very general question because you seem to be asking about the whole Australopithecine uh, species. You know I, mean? I am. So yes, I am. Do you think any Australopith occupies an intermediate position? So what you're asking me, do you think, do I think that there's any skeleton maybe that would point to the direction that humans evolved from some ancestor of chimpanzees? I'm asking, do you think Australopithecus out. is a human ancestor? What is it? Is Australopithecus Sasquatch? a human ancestor? In your Sasquatch? opinion? Uh, well, oh, no. Human well, oh, no. Yeah, I believe, oh, I believe no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, I believe the Bible. I believe that God made mankind. Yeah. Because I'm a, I call it as a shit, dude. It took us oh, 29 God. minutes and 29 yeah. seconds science, to get here, no, but we science. finally I'm got there. I'm okay, you're a not, creationist. I'm not no, even convinced this whole thing I'm wasn't let a troll, know that too. Uh, watch how I use that mute button. I'm not even convinced this whole thing wasn't a troll, too, considering that right before he finally admitted that he doesn't, he called Australopithecus Sasquatch. No, dude, that that's what... This is, this yeah, is no, the that's, thing, that's right? What like, you, I've we heard, were both I've cracking up over. This before. I've heard them do this before. They they Okay, for those of you who don't know, there's, like a friend, there's two different types of creationists that will call... Australopith Sasquatches. One of them think, like, I guess they're like a, a fringe group, but they literally think that Sasquatches are just living Australopiths that got off Noah's Ark and are, are now survivors. And, mm. and they're not human ancestors. They are real animals that are just bipedal apes and they're now Sasquatches. And the other ones, it's meant to be a pejorative where it's like, haha, you believe in bipedal apes. And then it's like, yeah, yeah humans are bipedal apes, one, but also, I mean, God. This is so freaking classic. Why did it take that long? Why why can't they just say it? Why can't you can they ask just him. Right and say it? You can ask Richard. We, you we, want to unmute? He just hung up. Did he? He just hung up. What a little bitch. I was yeah. going to ask him if he knows what pedantic means and if he'd admit that he did 30 minutes I, of it before I had a million other questions. It it literally doesn't matter. Like I we could we could sit here for us and pull up pictures and show him step by step every aspect of Australopith morphology and how it is virtually identical to the correlate in humans and how they're directly related to bipedalism, none of it would matter. We would pivot to something else. Yep. We've done this, both of us have done this dance a million times. I just wish they would have been straightforward with it. Hey, future Seriously, Jimmy, when you're editing this, future Jimmy, when you're editing this, hopefully you listen to this part because you often don't listen when you edit. Uh, this clip should be called something like, creationist takes 30 minutes to finally admit he's an idiot. Something like that. Oh yeah. my god! There we go. Uh. Uh. 
uh, that call took so goddamn long that the other theist on the line hung up. No, that made me sad. Like that too. blows. Also, do we have any okay. more lines open? Yes, uh, I can open more lines if you want, but we've already been going for two hours and we have super chats still, and super chats usually take you all many more hours. Uh, I will say, if, um, if there's a theist caller, I want to I want to open one more line if there right. is one. I'll resume lines until theist until the screener theist only. Uh, Dude, actually, we got so bamboozled by that. Like that was just a classic bamboozle. I can't believe it. I knew it. And, and you both I knew were it, like, "This is the hard." We part were all of, thinking it. This is the hard part of the show that I I do these shows multiple days a week. I knew within two minutes this is where it was eventually going to go, and I was like, "I I shouldn't steer the conversation. I'll just hold back, hold back." I I wish I had jumped in earlier and been like, "Just ask him if he believes." And uh, in fact. Two minutes in, right. about I almost unmuted and said, "Ask him how old he believes the Earth is." I almost did that, and yeah. I should have just done that. Well, Dude, that's, when, I wanted we started... I wanted to ask him. Sorry, you go. You, you go ahead. I was going to say I like, wanted to ask him why do you believe in in God and why you know, what's because it says you're a theist. Like, what do you get? But like, I was so desperate to like do it organically and just ask, "What's your point? Get to a point." And then we can decide, okay, where does that lead us in this conversation? And like, it just, well, this whole thing about debating skulls and debating yeah. this guy and that guy. And, th- and like, God damn. and he didn't even know how old the thing was or Erica what we knew a- of it or what. He just learned a name. Yeah. I bet you anything. No, I bet you I would YouTube bet a million dollars. Is what he did. That's he exactly. Yeah. I would bet a million dollars. His preacher or somebody showed, said yeah. some dumb shit. About like the theists or the atheist evolutionists say that this gari is this, but really they only have a few skull fragments, and therefore what? they don't know anything. And that, yeah. and I bet you that was what he thought was like uh, it. We found gari's yeah. half skull, and we were like, "Aha! There's no god!" And that was our our whole thing. And like just Dude, that, because that's Erica, the whole fucking quick. thing that I see on Erica. Earth. Send me your email address on Twitter. I want to forward you the videos of the ghost proof. Yes. I said I said that you might email. Yeah, you're yeah, having dude, a hard time not reacting. <laughs> Mute your mic and hear the audio. Okay. It's just so it's just so frustrating, right? Like you come to these conversations, I, you know, I come to these conversations in good faith. Like I want to know, I want to have the conversation, but like they can't just be forthright because they know the second they reveal <laughs> their intentions, it's like this yes. game over. Okay, for while you're doing now, you talk and I get to watch the ghost video. 